Do you feel like you live in a body that would rather make fat than burn it? You can turn that around and train your body to be a better fat burner. The key is to get your body fat adapted and anyone can do it. This video explains how to get fat adapted and stay there. Fat adaptation occurs when you have restricted your carbohydrate intake enough to induce an increase in fat burning. In other words, when you are fat adapted, your body prefers to get its energy from fat rather than carbs. That fat can come from the food you eat or from the body fat that you carry. And anyone can get fat adapted by changing their food choices and eating schedule in a way that encourages continual low insulin levels. Insulin is a nutrient storing hormone. When it is high, you are storing energy, much of which ends up as fat. When insulin levels are low, the opposite action happens, allowing body fat to be released and burned. The rise and fall of insulin is mainly dependent on the foods that you eat. Carbohydrates raise insulin the most, and fats raise it the least. Therefore, to get fat adapted, you want to lower your carbohydrate intake and boost your fat intake. You can also introduce periods of fasting into your day. When there's no food coming in, insulin levels stay low. So the path to getting fat adapted is to eat a low carb, high fat diet and practice intermittent fasting. And it is as simple as that. However, even simple concepts raise questions such as how low must you go with your carb intake? How will you feel? How long will it take to get fat adapted? And how will you even know that you have reached that state? So let's take a look at those questions. A keto diet is where most people's minds go when they hear low carb. However, you don't necessarily need to drop your carb intake to the keto range to get your body fat adapted. How many carbohydrates you can eat in a day is unique to you. And I have a video on figuring out your carb tolerance if you would like to learn more. But if you are new to a reduced carb diet, keep your daily carbohydrate intake below 125 total grams and then step down your intake until you start to see the signs of fat adaptation that I will mention in a moment. But to put that amount into perspective, the standard dietary recommendation for carbohydrate intake starts at 225 grams and goes up. So you can see that to move from a traditional diet to a low carb diet, even the healthiest eater will need to cut their carbohydrate intake in half to enter the low carb range and by at least three fourths to enter the keto range, which requires you to drop your total carb grams below 50 for the day. Now keep in mind that the foods you eat provide your body with calories that it uses for energy. That energy is derived mainly from carbohydrates and fat. When you cut carbs, you rob your body of a primary energy source. So make a concerted effort to get beneficial fats from things like eggs, avocados, nuts, seeds, fatty fish, full fat dairy, and healthy oils like olive and avocado oil into your daily diet. A good target is for dietary fats to make up 50 to 75% of your daily calorie intake. Now, even if you eat enough fat, there will likely be a period of time right after cutting carbs when you feel low on energy and generally worse rather than better. This transition period is due to the fact that your body has not yet developed the enzymes and pathways it needs to rely on fat as its primary fuel. To work through this transition, one of the things your body needs is simply time. Another thing it needs is electrolytes. Electrolytes are essential minerals like magnesium, potassium, and salt that your body needs to regulate muscle and nerve activities and stay hydrated. Electrolytes partner with water. When you cut carbs, the low insulin level allows for the release of water from glycogen stores in your muscles and liver. That water flushes out of your body and electrolytes travel along with it. If you don't replenish them, you will be prone to headaches muscle cramps, fatigue, and cravings. The easiest way to stay on top of this is to use an electrolyte supplement each day. Fortunately, this is easy to do and tastes great with our sponsor, Element Electrolytes. I have been following a low carb diet for years and have always supplemented it with electrolytes. However, at the start, I took electrolytes like taking a pill. I would drop some into a glass of water and chug it down. And there's nothing wrong with that. It gets the job done. 
However, Element has changed replenishing electrolytes from a get it done responsibility to a refreshing summertime drink. It also has become my go-to stopper, helping me to stop eating after a meal and hold off cravings between meals. Here's what I do. There is a teaspoon of the product in each stick. What I like to do is slowly stir a quarter teaspoon of the electrolyte packet into eight ounces of sparkling water. I now have a very tasty and fizzy drink that is enjoyable to sip. Uh, I often use this as a stopper, which is a term that I use to describe a food, drink, or activity that separates me from the act of eating, keeping me safe from the temptation of dessert after a meal. It works perfectly because the taste makes me look forward to drinking it and sipping it gives me the time away from eating that is needed for my stomach to tell my brain that I'm full. Now, you don't have to use it as a stopper. If you lead an active low carb lifestyle, Element is a great way to continue to feel good. I had it waiting for me after running a 5K race last month with my daughter. Uh, you'll notice the Element in my hand and the ribbon around my neck. Both Kelly and I got second place in our age groups. Uh, now, I must disclose that it was a small local race and there were only two women in my age group, but I still wore the medal proudly. Uh, my daughter had a more competitive age category, so hers was arguably more deserved. But regardless, Element was a great way to help us feel good and give our bodies the electrolytes they needed. Element is available as a plain stick or multiple flavors. And right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. So you and a friend can try all eight flavors. To get yours, go to drink LMN t.com forward slash Dr. Becky, and I'll provide a link to the offer in the description area below this video. Getting fat adapted is something you have to work to achieve because our world is not set up for carb restriction. Even the checkout line at our local hardware store is lined with packages of candy and snack cakes that are filled with carbohydrates. So how long it takes for your body to become fat adapted is hard to predict, but will be accelerated by consistent effort. And this gives me an opening to discuss a concept known as opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the understanding that for every new opportunity that we accept, such as getting fat adapted, there is another opportunity that we must let go of, such as eating refined high carb snacks. For example, when I walked through the checkout line at our local hardware store, I had the opportunity to grab a bag of candy. I like candy. I used to eat it all the time. And as I like to say, I have the cavities to prove it. However, if I were to take those opportunities to grab those convenient snacks, I would have to let go of my opportunity to live in the body that I want. Getting your body to the point of fat adaptation will make your body a better fat burner, giving you the effortless weight control that you want. But to get there, you need to train your cells to burn fat efficiently. That takes consistent effort. I challenge you to take the next 30 days to consistently eat a low carb, high fat diet and fast for 12 to 16 hours a day. Do that for 30 days. It will require you to give up the opportunity to cheat on your diet but it will give you the opportunity to live in a body that burns fat efficiently. So how do you know that your body has become fat adapted? Well, there's no objective measure to mark this distinction. However, you will notice changes in your body, such as easier fat loss, sustained energy, mental clarity, and less hunger and cravings because the fuel you need to get through your day is always available coming from stored body fat. Once your body is fat adapted, automatic weight loss is all about setting up your day so you feel good all day and subconsciously avoid overeating. Our bodies and minds like to follow routines and you'll find that it is easy to get your new fat adapted body into a healthy routine because you're not fighting hunger and cravings. So continue to eat a low carb, high fat diet and practice intermittent fasting. The great news is that once you've put in the consistent work to get your body fat adapted, that becomes your default state. Your body will never lose its ability to use carbohydrates. They will always be an energy source. However, your body will now be metabolically flexible. So you will find that you can tolerate occasional high carb treats like a piece of birthday cake. When those carbohydrates are used up, your body returns to burning fat. 
The takeaway is this. Give your body what it needs and it will give you what you want. It will take time and consistent effort for your body to make the switch from being a carb burner to being a fat burner. So don't stop before the magic happens because when it does, you will gain a lot of freedom. I wanna thank Element for sponsoring this video and helping me to continue to create free videos for you to watch. Especially through the hot summer months, Element is a part of my daily routine. Right now, the company is giving away a free sample pack with any order. To get yours, go to drinklmnt.com forward slash Dr. Becky. Thanks for watching. Before you go, please click the subscribe button to join me here on my channel. Have a great rest of your day.